We're going to start with the volunteers of the month, and we'd like to thank them for their time and effort to our system. The first volunteer of the month is from Birchwood Elementary, Miss Marva Bolin. Fairview Elementary, Kyler King. Huntsville Elementary, Mr. John Beatty and Autumn Sexton. <laughs> each other. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, next we'd like to represent our April student of the month, Mr. Caleb Jordan Shuey. He's the 17-year-old son of Rusty Shuey of Kingston and Marie Shuey of the Oneida community. He was selected by the Scott High School staff as the April STEM student of the month. Caleb is a member of the Beta Club and Upper Bound. Caleb is a member of the graduating class of 2019 and he has earned a GPA of 4.1552 and is ranked third in his class. He has followed a more rigorous course of study and will graduate under the Tennessee Scholars Program and will be awarded an honors diploma. Caleb has completed several dual credit classes while in high school. Caleb will be attending Carson Newman University in the fall and plans to major in psychology. Okay, uh, is there anyone in the audience who would like to address the board? If not, I guess we'll go to the principals. Uh, Miss Tanya, we'll go with you first. Thank you. Um, tomorrow is the Nancy Swain uh, Memorial Walk. Um, our 7th and 8th graders at Birchville will be participating in that walk, so we're very excited about that. I know um, Miss um, Kelly at Oneida said that Kona Ice will also be there, so if you're out and about, go and enjoy Kona <coughs> Ice because they are fabulous. Uh, I'd like to announce the, um, that our 7th grade Science and Social Studies teacher, Miss Ashley Hawkins, received a TVA STEM grant. I um, just want to congratulate her for taking that initiative to go out to get that grant worth $2,500. So um, we have some folks that are going to be coming on May the 2nd from TVA to present her with that check. So I'm hoping this one will be huge ones, which will be awesome. But um, if you all are out and about and would like to come and see that, I would love for you to stop by because she wrote a, a great grant and I'm very proud of her. Tuesday, April the 16th um, is Future Highlander Night for Birchfield at the high school. Just want to remind everyone of that. TCAT testing will also begin next week, so we're just getting vigilant and ready for that. And, and folks, if you can make sure those kids have, have eaten breakfast, we start breakfast at Birchfield at 7.20. Um, have those babies on those buses, have them get a good night's rest. We'll be testing for seven or eight days, so their attendance is very important because they've worked too hard all year long not to show what they know on that test. Um, our soccer tournament this year, the season ended quickly. Um, the weather wasn't too bad for March, but now April, of course, we get those lovely April showers. Um, so that tournament is scheduled for the week of April the 22nd. Those schedules have been sent out to everyone. And um, our middle school end of year band concert will be May the 10th. So if you would like to come out and see our band concert, that begins at 6 p.m. If I'm incorrect on the time, I will let you know, but I think that starts at 6 on May the 10th, which is on a Friday. And I don't have anything else unless you have a question for me. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Ms. Lisa. As Ms. Tony said, getting ready for the TCAP testing. Today we're um, getting all the books ready, getting all the schedules ready, uh, double counting, triple counting, and ordering whatever we still need. So that's getting underway. Um, we had our family reading night in April 9th, and we had 65 in attendance. That's a little bit down, but we figured that'll pick back up as soon as we get finished with the testing. 
and we want to thank the maintenance department, Mr. Blakely, for coming over and getting our grass mowed. Our lawnmower's broke, and it was starting to look pretty bad over there, and we finally got all the grass down, so that, thank you very much, Mr. Blakely, for getting that done for us. It looks real good, good over there now. Um, one of the last things that we have that I really want to mention again is, first, I'm very thankful, blessed, thank you, Lord, for Playground. It is up and coming. We are meeting and waiting for those last pledges and everything to come in because we have some more people that are going to send in. We are at it. So we are getting those specs in, getting the bids in, and we're ready to move. So we've met with people talking about getting the uh, groundwork going, and we can't wait for June to hit. So we're so excited. So thank you for everybody that's been working on our behalf. Thank you, board. You were the ones that kicked it off. Uh, so once that came in, everybody just kind of came in together in this community. It's just, we're just blessed. That's all I can say. Thank you. That's all I have. Thank you. Mr. Cash. Um, I just have a few things. Uh, most things I have are um, similar to what Ms. Bond just said. Nancy Swain walked to borrow. Um, we will have some <coughs> higher teachers at, at Fairview tomorrow. Um, hope everybody can come out. Uh, testing. Uh, starts on Tuesday, and also I just want to remind parents the importance, like Ms. Tanya said, um, of getting the, getting the, not only there, but on time, um, so we can get those kids um, started on the test. So we're really excited about that. Uh, our future Highlander Nights also on Tuesday, the 16th, at Sky High. Uh, Ms. Tanya said the soccer tournament has been moved. We do play on the 22nd, Monday the 22nd, girls at 5 and boys at 7.30 on Monday, the 22nd. Um, and then something I just added, uh, I'm glad Miss Lisa brought it up, I mean, we talked about it last, or Tuesday, is the accomplishment that, um, of the playground. Um, I, I'll leave the list of all the names. There's a few people that contacted me early on, I get, you know, when I'm a parent, um, Miss Abby and, and Miss Haley and stuff, and um, they was had this goal of raising this amount of money in a year. And I said, "Yeah, great." And to myself, I was there ain't no way. <laughs> you know, um, I was thinking maybe two years, three years. They've done it. Um, that's to her and her staff. They worked their tails off. That's to you all, um, Mr. Hall on the board, the community. Just absolutely. Um, raising that amount of money. I know several years ago, I won't bring it up because Miss Sharp was mad at me years ago over this, but <laughs> I'm afraid she might get mad at me again. But when I first took football, we raised $10,000 in a year. And I know how hard my parents worked and the kids worked and the school worked. I can imagine, you know, multiply that by 15 or 20. So that's just a huge accomplishment by her and her staff and just this great job, you know, just, just unbelievable. And I know the kids in the community will um, really benefit. So thank you. That's all I have unless you have anything to me. Thank you. Mr. Shannon. Um, we, like a lot of the other schools, uh, tomorrow we'll have our students at the uh, Nancy Swain Memorial Walk. Uh, I know there's 40 or 50 kids, I think, that are going and, and very much looking forward to that. Monday, April the 15th, uh, is Future Highlander Night at Scott High. Go Scott. Uh, Tuesday, April the 16th, uh, we've got tea and ready testing begins. Uh, food pantry <coughs> also at, uh, at Robbins. Uh, Friday, of course, April the 19th, we're off of school uh, for Good Friday. Uh, Monday, April the 22nd, our soccer teams will be in action at Birchfield. Uh, and also just wanted to make sure and, and give a special thanks to all the people that's working uh, to get our museum up and going. Uh, Gary Sexton, Shirley Stevens, I know Miss. Diane had met with that group at Scott High along with our students not long ago, uh, as well as David Jeffers and uh, Alan Keaton at the uh, Scott County Historical Society. A lot of people are getting very, very excited about it, and we're looking forward to getting it off the ground and running. So, unless you have any questions for me. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Rector. Thank you. Uh, very quickly, I'll try not to be redundant. Uh, we do have a group of students who will be participating in that Nancy Swain walk tomorrow as well. Um, so we, uh, it sounds like all of our schools are going to be well represented there tomorrow. Future Highlander Night um, is Monday and Tuesday the 15th and 16th. We are excited about um, hosting those upcoming Highlanders um, on that night. We will conduct registration, pre-registration for those students on that night as well. 
we have assigned specific nights to those schools just to manage the numbers but again as always we do encourage those students that if something happens that they miss their assigned night feel free to come on the next night um, or if something comes up they can come on the previous night that's perfectly fine uh, we want them to take the opportunity to be there that night. There's much more than just registration. Uh, we try to take them through a tour of the building and, and give them some insight on um, what that transition looks like. So it's, it's a fun night for us and we hope it's a fun night for them and, um, and we get some things accomplished as well. Um, online EOC testing for us begins on Monday as well. Um, <laughs> we're ready to go, right Caleb? Oh, yeah. it's, um, it, it is a task. It's, it's a large chore, especially when you add in that um, extra element of um, it being online and trying to maneuver. You only have so many machines and so many students and so many days. Um, it, it's, it gets to be a little complex, but we've got our schedule ready to go. Um, yet again, I will say that um, the fall testing went fine. Spring testing is usually where we have the glitches. So we're really um, praying and crossing our fingers and hoping that everything on the state's end of testing is going to work out well because our guys are ready. So we, we're ready for that. We'll see how it goes. That kicks off on Monday. And I believe during the three-week window, we only have two days that we're not testing. It takes us the entire three-week window, um, with the exception, like I said, of two days to get through all of that. So just to keep that in mind, again, as the other principals have said, it's super important uh, for students to be in attendance and on time. Uh, with our online sessions, we do test all day long. Um, so it is important that kids are there. We'll try, if, if they're absent one day, we try to get them made up the very next day. Um, if they come in late that morning, we may try to grab them and put them in an afternoon test session to go ahead and get them completed that day. Uh, but it, it is very difficult and it is important that they're there and that they're on time. A um, couple of different things that we have going on. We had a couple of different places contact us this year, uh, local businesses, and wanted to know if they could kind of do some um, recruiting pitches to our seniors who are getting ready to graduate. Um, some just for summer positions and then some for long-term employment. So we've got a couple of neat events coming up there. We're going to kick that off on um, April the 25th with a uh, senior tour at the Great Dane facility here in Huntsville. So we're kind of excited about that. That's different. It's a little bit new. Uh, but they have a lot of, um, they're experiencing a lot of growth and have a lot of um, employment opportunity for um, long-term employment opportunity for a lot of people in the community and they want to come in and start recruiting straight from, from the high school. So we're excited about that. So we appreciate those guys for reaching out to us and involving us in things like that. But hopefully that's just the first of many to come. Uh, we do have a group of students who will be participating in the Envirothon um, on April the 30th. That is also an exciting event that we've had um, a lot of success with over the last couple of years. And I was chatting with Stacy uh, just before she left. I know that um, Greg Vaughn had announced to you all and told you that we had been the recipients of um, a Chamber of Commerce technology grant and that Scott High was going to receive some different equipment there. Um, I've talked with Greg and Tom today. That equipment is in and they're making those final preparations for that. I was telling Stacy probably expect to see that on campus probably sometime in the next week or so. Um, so we're very blessed to have that and very excited and I was even telling her we we are just now starting to talk about what or realize really the possibilities that that gives us um, for curriculum and some different things. So it's going to be a really big asset. So we're very appreciative to the Chamber of Commerce for um, considering us and um, giving us the ability to have that extra technology access. That's all that I have. Unless you have any questions. Is it going to be at Frozen Head? The Envirothon is um no it's in clinton okay. it's in clinton somewhere okay. yeah all right thank you thank you mr hall has a few items for the director's report the first item we need to add an item to the agenda for scott county school system going on record to oppose the esa or voucher bill and this was recommended by tsba and toss the t and ready and eoc exams are beginning next week Tennessee Ready grades 3 through 8 will begin on Tuesday, April 16th, while EOC at Scott High will begin on Monday, April 15th. No school on Friday, April 19th for the observance of Good Friday. 
Nancy's Swain Walk will be on Friday, April 12th. I hope as many get the chance to attend to this truly amazing event as we take a stand against domestic violence. And I hope that everyone has an enjoyable Easter and celebrate the true meaning. And that's all left. Thank you. Mr. Richard wanted to know if the Ender Principles was going to be walking the Nancy Swain uh, Walk. None of the principals walking? <laughs> Do we still have a principal meeting principles. in the morning? Yeah, we have, we have a principal meeting. Okay. Okay. You all got time to tell him then. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, item seven, adoption and agenda. In accordance with board policy number 1.403, the Scott County Board of Education should adopt an agenda of all items to be acted on during the regular monthly meeting of April 11, 2019. May I have a motion to approve the April 11, 2019 agenda? Motion. Any discussion? Waiting on the roll call. Ms. Smith? Aye. Ms. Sharp? Aye. Tommy, Ms. Mr. Silcox? Aye. Ms. Kidd? Aye. Ms. Abbott? Aye. Mr. Stanley? Aye. Item 8, consent agenda items. In accordance with Scott County Board of Education Policy number 4.403, <coughs> excuse me, the Board of Education may include routine and non-controversial items on a consent agenda which may be adopted by a single vote without discussion. Any item on the consent agenda may be removed and placed on the regular agenda for further consideration at the request of any board member. May I have a motion to approve the items listed on the consent agenda as follows. A. Approval of the minutes for March the 14th, 2019. B. Approval of the bills and financial report for February. C. Approval for each school center to apply for the First National Bank mini grants. Second. Any discussion? Waiting on the roll call. Ms. Sharp. Aye. Mr. Stanley. Aye. Mr. Silfox. Aye. Ms. Smith. Aye. Ms. Kidd. Aye. Ms. Abbott. Aye. Out of 9A, approved trips. Board approval is needed for out-of-state overnight school trips. May I have a motion to approve the following out-of-state overnight trips? Nutrition Department, TNSA State Conference, June the 9th through the 14th of 2019 in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. School Nutrition Read Show, Knoxville, Tennessee, April the 15th and 16th of 2019. Talent Search, LMU Chattanooga, Pigeon Forge, June the 4th through the 6th of 2019. Lincoln Memorial, June the 9th through the 13th of 2019. And New Orleans, Louisiana, June the 24th through the 27th of 2019. Huntsville Middle Girls Basketball Team, Murfreesboro High School, May the 30th and 31st of 2019. Scott High School, Counselor, Tennessee School Counselor and Administration Leadership Institute, September the 22nd to the 24th, 2019, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Federal Projects Director, Special Education Supervisor, <coughs> Fiscal Conference, April 14th to the 16th of 2019, in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Winfield Elementary, the principal at TS, TASCD, 2019 Summer Institute, June the 27th to the 28th of 2019 in Gatlinburg. Board members, Director of Schools, Attorney, TSBA Summer Law, Gatlinburg, July the 19th through the 20th of 2019. Motion. Second. Any discussion? Waiting on the roll call. Mr. Silfox? Aye. Ms. Smith? Aye. Ms. Sharp? Aye. Ms. Kidd? Aye. Ms. Abbott? Aye. Mr. Stanley? Aye. Item 9B, request to bid. In accordance with Scott County Board of Education Policy Number 2.806 concerning bids and quotations, all purchases of supplies, materials, equipment, and contractual services in excess of $25,000 shall be based on competitive bids. May I have a motion to request that the Scott County Finance Director did the following. 
food service hydrofection oven, related services for special education, OT, PT, speech, services from a behavioral analysis, vision and hearing. Motion. Second. Any discussion? Waiting on the roll call. Mr. Stanley? Aye. Mr. Silfox? Aye. Ms. Smith? Aye. Ms. Sharp? Aye. Ms. Kidd? Aye. Ms. Abbott? Aye. Item 9C, TSBA membership dues. <coughs> Approval is needed to continue the membership and pay the dues for Tennessee School Board Association. May I have a motion to approve the continuation of the TSBA membership with the Scott County Board of Education and pay the dues for the school year 2018-2019 in the amount of $5,364. Motion. Second. Any discussion? Yes. Did that go up? Did they miss? I think that's what it's been being in. I thought it was 2700 I thought it's that too. We only do it once a year. So we could have been maybe we done it. American something like when we went to uh, in November, how much was that? Not through the You mean our leadership conference? No, it was the uh, Talking about our file conference? Yeah, well, we go to Nashville for about four days. Yeah, that's it. That's what we call it. What are you talking about? This is just the membership fees. This is just the membership fees. Yeah. I guess they're charging because they provide so many opportunities for us to get points, which is not very good. They need to do a better job of giving us a I'm chance to a, get these things. I know they lobby us for us and stuff. I mean, they do a good job. I mean, but I just I didn't. Do you want to table that to the next time? Uh, well, I mean I'm sure it's correct. I'm just maybe we done last time, uh, done the two payments. There's just been some issues that come out through uh, uh, other people attacking TSBA on, right. on the amounts and stuff, on the, which what Tammy makes down there, and you know they're really attacking. The TSBA, and they had. I had someone call me and, and had asked me. Mm -hmm. I had sent out letters from Nashville, and uh, I told them that I thought it was around 2,700 that we provide uh, for our dues. And uh, obviously, I don't recall what that amount was. <clears throat> but you know, right now though, they are fighting for public school. Oh, yes, 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 yes. They, they do a good job. Is, I just... uh, they passes. It's going to be the biggest drawback public schools has ever faced. Yeah. Sweet. And, there it is. And they are. They are fighting big time. They are. And not, not to say that I wouldn't want to pay this. I just, I, I was thinking it wasn't this much. Mm -hmm. Something we can check in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's fine. We got, I mean, we got to have them. You know, we don't have to do it. We gotta yeah. Would you feel more comfortable if we did just table it until the next time? No, I, I mean, we, that's fine. I just thought that it was cheaper than that. No, that's fine. we got to have them. I, mean, I understand. Okay, is there any more discussion? Uh, wait, no, no. Okay. All right, Mr. Silpox? Aye. Ms. Kidd? Aye. Ms. Smith? Aye. Ms. Short? Aye. Ms. Abbott? Aye. Mr. Stanley? Aye. Aye. Item 9D, approved budget amendments. In pursuant to board policy number 2.201, the Scott County Board of Education needs to approve budget amendments in order to make the line item transfers needed to balance the budget for the fiscal year 2018-2019. This action will allow funds to be applied to areas of the budget that lack sufficient funds to complete the school year. May I have a motion to approve the following amendments for the 2018-2019 school year. CTE budget amendment number two, food service amendment number one, federal amendment <coughs> number seven. I make a motion. Second. Any discussion? 
waiting on the roll call. Ms. Kidd, Aye. Ms. Smith, Aye. Mr. Silcox, Aye. Ms. Sharp, Aye. Ms. Abbott, Aye. Mr. Stanley. Aye. Okay, item 9E, extended utilizations of vehicles in accordance with the provisions of TCA section 49-6. Dash two one oh nine. The board must approve the utilization of buses that have sixteen years of service before that before they can remain in service. Do I need to read all these numbers? <laughs> Not unless somebody on the board wants you to do that. So. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> 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 okay. okay, that would be the bus number. 1 dash 2 uh, best 1 dash 3 1 dash 4 5 2 dash 3 2 dash 4 2 dash 3 2 dash 4 2 dash 5 2 dash 6 4 dash 1 4 dash 2 4 dash 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 any discussion? Waiting on roll call. Mr. Silcox? Aye. Mr. Stanley? Aye. Ms. Smith? Aye. Ms. Sharp? Aye. Ms. Kidd? Aye. Ms. Abbott? Aye. Item 9F, board policies. Approval is needed by the board to amend board policies as recommended by TSBA. May I have a motion to approve the second reading of the following amended board policies as recommended by TSBA? Policy number 1.803, Tobacco Free Schools. 4.209, Alternative Credit Options. 4.603, Promotion and Retention. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Waiting on the roll call. Ms. Sharp. Aye. Ms. Kidd. Aye. Mr. Silcox. Aye. Ms. Smith. Aye. Ms. Abbott. Aye. Mr. Stanley. Aye. <clears throat> Item 9G, resolution. Garrett Kinsley, Director of Government Relations and Communications, Staff Attorney, has, has requested a list of boards that have passed a resolution opposing education savings accounts. May I have a motion that the Scott County Board would like to go on record as supporting a resolution opposing education savings accounts as recommended by Governor Bill Lee? Motion. I'll make that motion. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Any discussion? Waiting on the roll call. Mr. Stanley? Aye. Ms. Sharp? Aye. Mr. Silcox? Aye. Ms. Smith? Aye. Ms. Kidd? Aye. Ms. Abbott? Aye. Okay, before we go to item 9H, Ms. Kilcox, do you have anything? No, ma'am. No, I don't. I'd just like to come in. Caleb and the scholars got the thing from Scott High. I was so proud of them. I got the opportunity to watch them on TV. They just hung right in there and got beat by one question. Oh, I'm man. very proud of that thing. Thanks, Scott, for the annual. It's really nice. Appreciate it. Okay. Yes, Scott, thanks for the annual. Those are really nice. They look really great. Okay, with that, do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion. Second. Okay. Wait on the roll call. Ms. Smith. Aye. Ms. Sharp. Aye. Mr. Silcox. Aye. Ms. Kidd. Aye. Ms. Abbott. Aye. Mr. Stanley. Aye.